tell you the story about all the creation history. Now, before that, what happened in this country? There was no rocks. And there was no tree, grass of any sort. And the, uh, the first of the three people was in this country. Now, uh, the one is old rainbow. The one that made the sea. An old lady called Dung Dung. Come out of the side of the earth, is a frog lady. And went across and made it up with old rainbow. Two in old rainbow and Dung Dung set together. Anyway, uh, later, they got married up and they had many children all under water. The later, Dung Dung walked out inland to dry herself out. Another one came down from the sky. It's called Nade. It's a long Mimi man. Came down and landed beside a Dung Dung. And he said to Nade, where'd you come from? And Nade said, oh, I came from the top. And, they, uh, and uh, Nade asked the Dung Dung, where'd you come from? And she said, I come out of the side of the earth. Oh. Anyway, they sat down and they had a talk and they got made it up. And then uh, Dung Dung finished up with the two husbands. He had old Rainbow and he had Nade. Between and Nade and the Dung Dung, they had many children who was part of the old lightning people. The lightning, the one who struck the land in this country. They put all the songs together. They named it all the different plants. They named it all the different soil, the earth and everything. They invented all the different tools. They wood graft and everything. They made a big creation song and the story right across the country, all around, with the lightning people. While they were there together, and they were making all these songs and they made a lot of noise, and all rainbow can hear them. And he woke up and stood up and he looked Inland was many people walking around. Then old Rainbow walked across and said to old Dundu, why you do this, I bring everybody out here in the dry land? We should have everybody together all under water. Now Dundu said, no, we got to have two separate lots, one lot in the water and one lot inland. And Rainbow said, no, we're going to have everybody all under water. And Rainbow goes back and he sang the great big spiritual song. He sang it and made the water rise. And water come right over in this country and flooded the whole world. This country was in big flood. We call that the Ngabal Ngabal was here. The song for the Ngabal Ngabal also in the creation song, and we still use that song today. Never threw any the creation song away. We still teach them to the young ones. When the flood was rising, all these little lightning people moved from the low country and went up and base on the top of this high mount. The Nada came down from the sky, helping all these children. Walking across the water, he was a very huge, tall man. That's why they call him a Mimi. And picking up all these children, water was only up to his waist deep, and the water was rising and putting all these little lightning people on top of the high mount. And everybody was watching and looking at the water rising. And they all learned there was no bird in this country, all lightning people. One of them is now today is a bird, because he changed from the lightning people to become a little bird now. Huh? It's called Willy Wagtail. The Willy Wagtail, the one who invented all the stone tool, made spear points, stone axes, scraper, and everything out of a mud. And he sang it, it all went wild. And he made a pointy one. He said, this might be ideal to speed our rainbow, get rid of the water. We don't want to get drowned. And the uh, Willy Wagtail raced across and said to the old lightning, he said, might be the way we can go to speed that rainbow. And lightning reckoned, good idea to get rid of that old rainbow. Anyway, um, and the lightning said, all right, give us that spear. Wait a minute, Willie Wagtail said, I'll go down and make the long end of the spear. Nah? He clacked all the mud 
and he rubbed it together, made it longer, and he sang it, made it like a long spear, and then put these little flints on the end of it, out of a mud again, and it was very strong. But he made many of them, and he went across and gave it as a lightning. Lightning, the one threw the spear, hit the old rainbow, cut him in half, never killed him. And old rainbow got very annoyed, and he sang it, and he brought his water right up. And then the, the lightning said, oh, give that spear to the gray falcon. Now, he was a human first, now he's a bird today. Now, the falcon, so wants to carry the fire, um, he carries a, what we call junjin, he's a boning tool, and he carries it and then flies him across it with this, uh, with the, like the feathers and stuff like this, and will show the shooting star. But the falcon, he invented all that song. And he picked up this spear point and he sang it. And he sang it to go straight to the old rainbows, to kill our rainbow. When he sang it, and after he finished, the gray falcon, the one who threw his spear, came right across the country, straight to the old rainbow, shot his head right off. The head of the rainbow fell down and the tail end stayed away. And the water ran right back to the sea level where the rainbow made up the big whirlpool there with the big spiritual song and that's where the water disappeared and that's why it is there today.